Hello again, everyone. This is uh, the weekend update. Today is Saturday, April 28th. We're going to take a look at the NASDAQ composite here and check in on seven high-tech stocks, NASDAQ-related high-tech stocks, and see how they did after they reported earnings. And uh, we'll see what the market is sell telling us. So let's dive in here. The NASDAQ composite on Friday was up a whopping 1.2 points. You can see how it gapped up at the... At the open, this was after Amazon had that amazing earnings report on Thursday evening. Just incredible earnings report. And everything gapped up, and that was all she wrote. And they sold it off for the rest of the day and barely kept it in the positive on the NASDAQ composite. So we're going to talk about, you know, the earnings season started. Everybody's been talking about earnings season is going to save us. Everybody's going to have these wonderful Q1 uh, uh, reports, and they have 80% of the S&P 500, 80% of the reports come out so far have been beating their estimates. But in many cases, it doesn't seem to matter. Now, there have been exceptions to that, there's no doubt. But let's take a look where the NASDAQ was on the close on Thursday before the earnings started. Remember, Friday the 13th is when all the big banks started, J.P. Morgan and uh, City Cor City Group and a bunch of them started on Friday morning. So here's Thursday, the 12th, 7140.25. Where did we close yesterday? 7119.8. We're down about 20 points over the last two weeks, the first two weeks of the great earnings season. So we'll see if this continues. Right now, it's definitely a, you know, show me... Uh, uh, show me kind of condition. And uh, right now that a lot of these are struggling. Let's start off here. The first one out of the box of the big high tech was na was Netflix. And it uh, announced after the market closed on April Monday, April 16th, bounced up big, big move within six trading days, and had given it all back. Okay, so not very dynamic as of right now. As it closed on Friday, it's up $4 from that night before the earnings report. Now, you know, to the positive side, we've still got an uptrend in place. We've still got higher highs and higher lows, uh, but definitely struggling after that great earnings report. And it was a good earnings report. Google, they weren't happy with Google's. Google's came out on the 23rd. And uh, in the next day, they just slammed the stock, and the stock has, has barely recovered uh, after that. This is into this week, I believe. Yeah, Monday the 23rd. And next one, we'll take a look. Facebook. Facebook has done fairly well. I mean, uh, after the 25th, uh, after the market closed, uh, stock closed at 159.69, and it closed the next day up here at 174.16. Uh, down a little bit on Friday, you know, did the same kind of price action on Friday. We'll see if this can hold. This is only two days of trading after the earnings. We'll see how it is five, six days out into the future. Uh, the next one, Twitter, the same night, Twitter reported uh, after the market closed on the, well, I guess I thought it was the same night. It was on the 24th. Yeah, yeah, it was on the 24th. And, uh, you know, they closed, they really hit it pretty hard during that day. And then uh, it came back some, but then it continued to just kind of roll over a little bit and closed on Friday at 29. Uh, the evening of the uh, report when it came out that day, Tuesday, it closed at uh, $30.47. So we're down from that uh, uh, day of the earnings announcement. And then the next one we've got is Amazon. And Amazon, of course, everybody knows what happened with that. Huge explosion to the upside. The big key here is Amazon just couldn't hold this prior day, the prior high, prior all-time high, back over here on March 13th. And, uh, you know, that's the, the way the price action was on Friday. Mm, not great at all. I mean, to open up like that and then just sell it off and close down near the low uh, of the day, Again, we'll watch and see, can it hold uh, going out over the next uh, week or so uh, on Amazon? And again, they had spectacular earnings. Uh, the other, Microsoft. Microsoft came out same time. Uh, Microsoft, Amazon, and Intel were all on Thursday night. Uh, Microsoft was up nice. 
again, couldn't hold the, uh, the breakout to new highs, and then they sold it back down again. So that's the typical, that's the price action that we're seeing. And then the last one I'll discuss is Intel. And again, I didn't draw the line in here, but it punched to you know new highs in here and couldn't hold it and brought it back down. It actually closed down for the day, down 32 cents. So it's going to be real interesting to see what happens in here. Many times, not all the time, but many times when you see a breakout to a new high and they don't hold it, uh, then you get a pretty significant sell-off in here. So I'll just leave you with the QQQ. And I mean, this picture is the same as the NASDAQ composite. Literally, the pattern is almost identical. And the point, earnings season so far in the Qs, down 12 cents from Thursday, April 12th, to the close on Friday, April 27th. The QQQs are down 12 cents. So if you felt like the video was helpful, please hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And again, if you could think of one person who'd benefit from the video, share the video with them. Remember, get more inside education and trade ideas. Become an insider member. Check, check it out by clicking on the image on the screen and going right over to my website at joehenches.net. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. We'll talk to you on the next video.